If you've ever been to Phoenix Airport, it's all concrete. And yet the poor neighborhoods burn just as hot because they have old materials on top of them. So our key on sustainability is to look at existing infrastructures, begin to change that, the materials that we use and do that, and change streets. I was talking to the mayor of Los Angeles, he says, why don't black senior, why don't black senior citizens walk in high Latino uh, neighborhoods? I said, because they can't see around the corner. He said, no, really, why? I said, because they can't see around the corner. I said, the older you get, you want to see around the corner. As a species, we evolve wanting to see what was around the corner. We always wanted to do that. He said, well, what would you do? I said, cut away the corners. So he called back and said, we did some cutaways, and the two people came out. I said, people want to see you around the corner. The idea of building and not being sensitive to the human condition, we've got to change that. Sustainability brings that around. And it's all within your purview. You can make those decisions. The idea is to reach out, grab those new ideas, think them through, and say, do we have to have 90 degree corners on every single corner on the planet? The answer is no, we don't. If you want people to walk, especially if they're seniors, distance from the street, wide sidewalks, well lighted, and no 90 degree corners brings them out. We always call them boats. Sometimes you put park pictures in, they can see. But they felt safe. They felt safe. So why am I throwing a whole series of issues at you? Because you are four counties, 100 cities, and I keep telling people, if you can't do it, it won't get done. And you probably say, that's not fair. I'm going to tell you, if you don't do it, it won't get done. I'll tell you again, if you don't do it, it will not get done because no one else is bitten off a piece this big to do. And you probably say it's unfair to burden us. Well, you volunteered. <laughs> right? You volunteered. Now, there is a way, I always you know, worked around athletes. I had my teams were 71 and 1 over the years, I coached them. But I used to tell my kids we will practice like we will play. And we will always look like champions. That's what leaders are. There are people who have grabbed an idea that understand there are no all-stars. Everybody's an all-star on a championship team. I played on both. All-star teams, uh, uh, championship teams are great. There's something about them. It meant that no matter who you were, weak or strong, you were able to participate at something grand. So you are a championship team. So act like it. Walk like it and look like it. And see the fact that you're going to run so fast, people have to catch up. And they're going to say, well, how do we get there? And that is an issue of your attitude and how you look at yourself. Your ability to mobilize people, to empower people, to persuade elected officials it's okay to take risks. It is okay. Especially if it's going to make the lives of future generations better. It is okay to take risks. And to tell elected officials, oh, go take it, and not know that, it, I, trust me, I've done that once. So <laughs> the real key is to have, we call that groundswell, and you are that groundswell, and you're capable of doing